Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Today we are stopping in at the Goodwill. Mel has a few things that she wanted to pick up so I thought it would give me a really big chance to check out the store and see what they had to offer up. Valentine's Day is coming up and they have a lot of items in the store. But you know me, I really like the boho feel, I like the boho look, and I really want to just check out and see if they have any great baskets to start adding to my collection. But first I stopped up front and checked out all of their purses and jewelry. So make sure when you head to the Goodwill that you guys always check out these end caps. But I'm really wanting to get to all of the baskets to see what they have to offer. So I'm just going to scout around a little bit and see what they have. I'm looking for a few pieces to add to my basket collection. Be sure to comment below and let me know what kind of baskets you guys love. With the spring and summer coming, there's just an endless amount of baskets that you could use with handles if you're going to the flea market or to a farmer's market if you want to use them in your garden. I really like this basket. It has really cute little beads on it, but I do have some that are similar. Then I spotted this basket. I thought it was really cute and would look really great in a cabin. They have some large baskets on the bottom shelf. And so I checked this one out. I thought it was really cool. It's lined with silk. I always like a good wood bowl. So I check these out. They're a little more pricey and it's a little confusing on what the price is. One of the prices said $6.99, which I'm sure that's probably wrong, but I like to pay about 99 cents a piece. Sometimes I find things that don't have prices on them and I really didn't have time today to go ask, but I thought that bowl was super cute. And here's another wood bowl. You can put a ladle into it and it has a hole at the top so that you can put the ladle in it and leave it in there while serving. I thought these were super cute. I really like them. They were made out of grasses and I just thought they were so precious. Next I spotted this clock. It's pretty vintage and it does have some tall grass on it but I passed on that also. It is the end of the day and it is pretty picked through. I was checking for some vessels. I'm looking for a small vase. But I just thought I would meander down the way and show you guys what they had to offer. I know these came from Target and they do have a lot of things that come through the Goodwill from Target and from time to time I'm able to find some great deals. And then I spotted this little vessel. I thought it was kind of cute. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for but I thought I would give you guys a view of it kind of the colors and the tones that I really like and I like the speckle on it. I thought this one was really cute, but it's just not what I'm looking for. This is definitely a handmade piece. It's also pretty cute, but again, not what I'm looking for. In our Goodwill, they cart out these little carts and this is what they use to stock from. And I spotted all this jewelry and beads. I didn't really see very much in there that I liked. So I decided not to get anything out of it, but it's a good view of how they stock. I grabbed these and I'm gonna use them in the bottom of my refrigerator to help keep my fruits and vegetables. I really love this picture. Be sure to stop by and check out the art. 
I did recently just find a piece of art at the Goodwill that's priced at about $1,500. Always make sure and check out all of the chairs and the furniture. They have really good deals. I really like this table if I was going to be doing a farmhouse style, but then I saw this and I thought it was so cute. It's only $14.99, I believe, and it is a motorcycle rocking horse. It is so very cool. So I'm just kind of wandering around, checking out some of the glassware, and I don't know, I just really didn't find too much in the store. Like I said, it was the end of the day, and I really wasn't in the mindset to do any thrifting. I know, I definitely have it in my mind all the time. It is my addiction, but I only had about 15 minutes to check out the store and see what they had, and I just wasn't getting into the groove of it. Mel was looking for some glass plates to take over to her daughter's house. I also like to check out the coffee cups from time to time. I find some pretty cool ones. I did find a full set that I will be showing you guys on my next haul, but check out these vintage pair of coffee mugs with ducks on them. I thought they were pretty cute, but not my style. Next, I spotted these blue cups with a white line through the middle, but there was only three of those, so I did pass. But I really like this one, but left it for the next person. These plates are from Pottery Barn. I thought they were so cute. I absolutely loved them. I wish they would have had the dinner plates as well of these as these, but I left those behind, but they are on an end cap. So I always like to check those end caps. You guys should always check those out too. Next, I checked out the lamps to see if there was anything on the aisle that I thought would look really beautiful in my home or that I could sell. I did spot this guy. I thought it was pretty cute. I did throw that in my cart and have already sold it. I love this king size blanket. If I didn't have a new blanket that I just purchased at Target, I would have purchased this one. In my next haul, I will show you guys that blanket. I always like to check out the pillows and the rugs and all of the curtains. And the last time I was in, I viewed my own video and I saw this in the video and couldn't believe that I didn't spot it last time. So I thought I would show you guys. I absolutely love it. It is so vintage, boho. Um, I just really absolutely love it. I didn't get it. Um, it's just not part of the look that I have in my living room, but I just really love it. Next, I spotted this pillow and I thought it would go really good with a look that I am looking for in my living room, but I think the color on it is just a little bit too dark. Be sure to check out the scarves. They always have a lot of really beautiful scarves and with the spring coming and if you wanna wrap your head so your hair is not blowing all over the place or if you're gonna be going to the beach and you just want a little something to put with your outfit, scarves are a great way to add to your outfit. They always have a large variety of shoes, glasses and belts 
handbags are always plentiful. Be sure to check out all of the handbags. They have different styles, things that are more recent from any of the stores that donate like Target. And they also have some great things that people have donated that are vintage. They also have large pieces of artwork and furniture that they keep in their hallway. I thought these shoes were so cute. If they would have fit me recently, I broke my foot and I will not be wearing anything like that anytime soon. So I just check out all of the shoes to see if there's anything that's gonna be comfortable or look good with anything that is coming up this spring. They have a wide variety of colors. They have a lot of boots. But like I said, it was the end of the day and I was just giving you guys a good view of everything they have to offer up in the store. This piece was absolutely gorgeous. It was priced at $49.99. I did not look to see who was the maker on it. If you guys know, please leave in the comment below. And like I said, be sure to check out all of the art. I couldn't believe that I actually found a piece of art at Goodwill that's priced up to $1,500. If you are curious to what that looks like, please go back in my videos and check out my last shop with me. So I thought I would just check this framed work area for art one more time to make sure there wasn't another piece. There is five pieces that go to or go along with the piece that I purchased for $7.99 worth $1,500, but I didn't spot anything. So on my way out the door, I'm going to check these end caps one more time. And I just want to thank everybody for shopping along with me today at the Goodwill in Beaverton, Oregon. It is a great location and I am so excited to be back on YouTube and I hope that everybody loves my videos. I hope that you guys share with your friends. I really want to build my channel, so be sure to subscribe, like, and share. So until the next time, please be sure to be safe, love your families, wear your masks, and we will see you guys the next time I upload a video. Have a great night.